Hey everyone, today I will be reviewing a protein powder that I've been trying for two weeks and so far I like it. Um, I am reviewing the My Protein Impact Way. Uh, the flavor I have is unflavored, no flavor. And I like it so far. It's a good quality protein that I think could, could help me with my fitness journey. Uh, it is it has the finest quality, which means the best ingredients, cutting edge innovation, and it's unrivaled pack product range. I'm not sure what that is, but whatever. Um, it has this little uh, little sticker here. It looks like they want to kind of award like 2016. I'm not sure if it's an award, but I don't know. But anyway, it says meets our standards for quality. I think it's their own award. I'm not, I'm not sure what that is. You know what? That doesn't matter. <laughs> Come on, get, let me get to the important stuff that I, everyone wants to hear. So basically, this is the nutrition facts. Uh, it's 100 calories for one scoop. And one scoop, it has 20 grams of protein. So the only one has one gram of sugar. It's zero fiber. It has 35 milligrams of sodium. Uh, the total fat is 2 grams, which is saturated fat. 1 gram trans fat, zero. What else? What else you need to know? Okay, the ingredients. The ingredients are just basic. It's just uh, whey protein concentrated on soy lactin. That's it. That's it. That's all that's in this protein powder. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hmm. Oh, it's a UK brand. It's a UK brand, so it does take a little while to get to wherever you're at. Like, if you're in the US, it took two weeks to come here, and... Um, it told me on the site it would only take five days, so I was I was kind of heartbroken when I realized that it took a lot longer than that because I really want my protein powder. But it's here now, so you know I am happy. Um, you know this is this is the protein powder. No, I just have enough to say. I just think it's a really good quality protein powder, and I. It'd be useful for me, especially since I never really buy protein powder. I'm usually like, I usually get a sample, but I never committed to buying a 11 pounds of protein. So I'm, I'm going to be using this for a while. So this was my big purchase of protein powder that I actually bought. Usually I buy a little thing like this small protein or like this small. Committed. I finally committed to something. Even though I did try it already, I am going to tell you how it tastes. So I'm just going to taste it in my shaker. So I can give an exact, you know, explanation of how it tastes. So I'm going to open it up. So it smells like, it smells like protein. It has like a weird smell, but that's just all protein powder. I'm just going to taste a little bit. Not nothing much. It comes with this scooper, a blue scooper, and the scooper was not very all, all the way at the bottom, which I thought was a plus. The scooper was actually on top, which made it really easy for me to find. And you see some protein powders, the scooper is all the way at the bottom, and you have to really, really dig down like a treasure. But this time, they knew exactly what they were doing and kept it on top. So that was a big plus that I appreciated. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there, and I'm gonna try it with. Mm, I'm, try, I'm clumsy, so I'm gonna try it with some water. <laughs> Thing is, this stuff doesn't taste that great with just water. I really recommend, since it is unflavored, spicing it up, mixing it with different flavors that you like. But I'm pretty sure you could mix it, like mix another flavor of water, which is totally fine. But unflavored do not taste that great. So I'm just going to tell you how it tastes, because I haven't tasted it oh, like in a while, it's by itself bare. I've been mixing it with a few things such as this silk milk, which is Michello, and I want to be telling you how, what I do with this in a bit. So, mm. let me shake it up. I just got a big clump in my teeth and that was just nasty. Mm-mm. That was gross. I'm sorry. So, oh, another thing. With this, I got a free shaker, 
which was this one right here. And that's this blue shaker. And um, the shakers are okay. Uh, the blue one, I find that if you shake it, you know, too much or crazy, you know, it starts to leak. And I don't really want my protein powder leaking on my hand. But I know that with the non-free one, <laughs> this one didn't leak as much. I'm not sure if they know that and give this one free. But I bought this one, that's just an extra one, just for my personal stuff. So sometimes I would forget about this one, or, you know, if I don't want to wash this one, I have another backup. So, okay, I'm going to just... And this shaker doesn't have, like, the little balls that usually I, you know, a lot of shakers have. This just has this, like, kind of strainer thing. Um, in the future, I do want another kind of shaker with a ball. I know that's the one I usually get, but... It's not so bad. Um, let me see. Let me just drink real quick. Mm. Yeah, it tastes like nothing. I mean, it tastes like something. It tastes like protein powder. Like, it's a hint of, like, flour with, like, a bit of vanilla. And it's not not that great tasting on its own. So, I really recommend putting something in it. So, I'm going to put this silk milk, silk milk in it. So, I can be able to finish this. Just mix a little bit in there, like so. And usually, I would actually put more in here. Like my regular protein shake that I make is mixed with like coffee, this, some creamer, and some Trulia. But just for today, I'm just tasting it with basic stuff so that you guys can get a you know a little idea of what it tastes like. Yeah, so much better. Milk obviously kind of drowns out that flavor of this, so yeah, you get a hint of that, but the any flavor that you will use would totally overpower the flavor of the actual protein powder. One thing I know about the protein powder is that it does have a hard time mixing, so you have to shake it up really, really well. Um, that's not really a big problem to me you know honestly this was like the cheapest protein powder that I saw on the market it was I think it was about $60 I think only because I got a um there was a coupon for about I think 30% off and usually my protein always has some kind of deal going on and I just noticed on the site that they, they, their stuff is really cheap compared to a lot of other companies I actually really appreciate that I am on a budget and I do still want my game, but I need to be on the budget because I can't be afford like protein powder for a hundred dollars, just five five pounds. This was eleven pounds, only sixty dollars, and I really appreciate that budget. So that's why I don't care if they have like mixing problems. That just is not a factor to me because it was cheap and it's really great quality. So I really appreciate that. Mhm. Mm so yeah, that's my review, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.